The big story this week is the continued outbreak of the avian influenza, or also known as bird flu. An apparent bird flu outbreak in the south suburbs has left thousands of chickens dead. Order officials to stop poultry sales across the state. Pembelang kapal jaga jaga setelah beberapa wilayah mula mencatatkan kes jangkitan virus selesema buruk. Kekurangan bekalan menyebabkan harga bahan mentah seperti ayam, ikan dan sayur meningkat. Malaysia is committed to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs focusing on zero hunger and responsible consumption and production. However, the country faces challenges such as food insecurities due to its reliance on important grants for poultry feeds. To overcome this, an innovation solution, Feather Fusion, has been introduced, utilizing agricultural waste to create sustainable poultry feed. This approach reduces production costs enhance food security and supports environmental sustainability, reflecting Malaysia's dedication to a more sustainable and resilient future. Now, you guys must be wondering what does SDGs mean in more details. Now, I will let my friends to explain it. So guys, do you actually know what is SDG? SDG stands for Sustainable Development Goal. The SDGs are a set of 17 objectives adopted by the United Nations in 2015 to create a more sustainable world by 2030. Using agro-waste chicken feed aligns with several sustainable development goals SDGs. First thing off, SDG number 8. By sourcing local ingredients, poultry owners reduce costs and support local economies. Not only that, SDG 13, this also minimizes environmental impact, reducing waste and carbon footprint. Moving on, SDG 2, Agro Waste Feed promotes healthier chicken, improving nutrition and food security. Next, SDG 12, it's sustainable farming practices support responsible consumption and encourage eco-friendly methods. Last but not least, SDG 2 and SDG number 12, it fosters resilience and food sovereignty, ensuring communities can withstand disruptions in the supply chain. In short, this holistic approach contributes to long-term sustainability, supporting both economic and environmental impact. So, do you know what are the benefits of using agricultural waste as a chicken feed? Now, I'm going to tell you what the benefits are. First, it can reduce waste. This is because it diverts agriculturally by products such as okara, nipple grass, and copra from landfills and reducing environmental pollution. Secondly, it is lower feed cost because using waste can reduce reliance on commercially produced feed and making chicken farming more affordable for farmers and consumers. This can improve food security, especially in areas with limited sources. Thirdly, it can improve soil health by reducing the amount of waste sent to landfills and it indirectly contributes the healthiest soil. The nutrients in the waste might be composted later. Furthermore, it will improve soil fertility. Next point is economic empowerment. Farmers can increase their income by reducing feed costs and potentially selling surplus chicken products. This can particularly benefit small-scale farmers. The last point from me is sustainable agriculture. 
it promotes a marked circular economy within the agricultural sector and decreasing reliance on resource-intensive feed production methods. That's all from me. Thank you. All right, everyone. I'm going to introduce the ingredients that we use to make our feather fusion. Well, first things first, we have napier grass. Next, we have turmeric powder. Well, aside from using turmeric powder, we can also use garlic powder as our antibiotic agent. Next, we have copra, which is made from the excess of making coconut oil. Then, we have wheat husk and bran. After that, we have okara, which is made from soybean pulp. After that, we have corn leaves and cobs. Then, we have eggshells. And lastly, we have cooking oil as our binding agent. After mixing all of these ingredients together, we have our final product, which is our chicken feet. Imported chicken feeds are known for their convenience and precision. They are carefully formulated to meet poultry dietary needs, ensuring a consistent nutritional profile through strict quality control. However, this comes at a premium, with prices ranging from 80 to 120 per 50 kg bag. In contrast, agro waste chicken feeds offer impressive nutritional value. They are rich in protein, fat, carbohydrates, fiber, omega-3 and omega-6 and also similar calcium levels to imported feeds. They support strong bones and eggshells. Their affordability price between 40 and 60 per 50 kg bag is an undeniable advantage. Beyond the cost savings, agro waste feeds are made from locally sourced ingredients, offering farmers the flexibility to customize the feed to specific needs. This also helps support sustainability and reduce dependence on imported products. To sum it up, Agro Waste Chicken Feed offers more nutrition, affordability, offering farmers with flexibility and also supports sustainability. To conclude, by sourcing feed locally, farmers save money while supporting small-scale producers and boosting local economies. Recycling agro waste reduces emissions, lowers the carbon footprint and protects ecosystems, helping combat climate change. Agro waste feed also improves food security. Healthier chicken means better quality, affordable food for communities. Plus, it encourages sustainable farming by reducing waste and promoting eco-friendly practices. Finally, by relying on local resources, communities become less dependent on global supply chains, ensuring resilience during disruptions. In short, agro waste chicken feed is a win for farmers, communities, and the environment. Let's adopt it to build a more sustainable future. Thank you. The recommendation we want to do for feather fusion is to do further investigation on this agro waste feed on other animals to observe the growth such as cow, fish, and other animals. Next, we also want to learn and work with Malaysian Agriculture Research and Development Institute, MARDI, and Federation of Livestock Farmers Association of Malaysia.